probably three or four generations. As one of them, as the uh, one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And uh, since then, we established a liberal world order, and that hadn't happened in a long while. A lot of people died, but nowhere near the chaos. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to there's going to be a new world order out there. Well, what do you say to those families who say, "Listen, we can't afford to pay 4.85 a gallon for months, if not years. This is just not sustainable." This is about the future of the liberal world order, and we have to stand firm. But the greatest threat on this front springs from the distinct illiberal and external actors who equate their success with fracturing the liberal international order.